This video shows how to change the roller covers on a uniroller system. Uh, we have a six inch roller system here. The same procedure can be used for either a three inch, six inch, 12 inch, or 18 inch uniroller. It can also be used on both the type C uniroller and the type S uniroller. Tools that we recommend you use for the roller change procedure are a 5 8 inch open end wrench, a 3 quarter inch open end wrench, an eighth inch flat screwdriver, a 3 16 flat screwdriver, a hard plastic tipped hammer, and just a solid rod that's less than a half inch diameter. This is 3 8 inch which is preferred and the length of this rod should be longer than the roller cover that you want to change. Roller covers come enclosed in a plastic bag. When you remove the roller covers you'll see that they are pre-installed on the perforated tube. When you buy new roller covers they can be purchased without the end caps or with the end caps already installed. If you buy them without the end caps, then you have to reuse the, end, the old end caps from the old rollers. To start the roller change process, start by disconnecting the tubes that are attached to the dispenser tube. If you push in on the collar of these fittings, then you can pull these tubes free. Disconnect both the lower and the upper tube. Once those are loose, you can start to remove the upper roller carrier assembly. First thing to do there is to use your small eighth inch flat screwdriver and remove the E-clip that holds the air cylinder in place. Once one clip is off, you can push the pin out from the other side and you can leave that E-clip in place. After you remove the pin from the air cylinder, you have to remove the two pivot pins in the back of the unit. Again, these are held in place with a E-clip, so use your small screwdriver to again remove that E-clip. There's then a washer that needs to be removed. After the washer is out, you can push the pin all the way through. Be careful that you don't lose the washer that's between the upper roller carrier and the pivot bracket. If it sticks in place, just use your small screwdriver to, to knock it loose. After it's out of one side, you can move over to the other side. Remove the clip and the washer from that pin. Pull the pin out and the last washer and then you can remove your upper roller carrier assembly. Once the upper roller carrier is out, we need to remove the stub shaft and the dispenser tube from the upper roller carrier assembly. To do that, use the 3 quarter and 5 8 inch wrench. Hold the outer hex of the dispenser tube assembly still and use the 3 quarter inch wrench to loosen the jam nut. Once you loosen it with the wrench, you should be able to rotate that jam nut out. Then on the other side with the stub shaft, you can do the same procedure. Loosen the jam nut. Once the jam nuts are loose, you can grab both the dispenser tube and stub shaft assembly and rotate both of them out of the upper roller carrier. and simply pull them out of the roller assembly once they've been threaded out far enough. After you've removed the upper roller assembly from the upper roller carrier, you can repeat the process on the lower roller. Again, use the 5 8 inch hex wrench to hold the dispenser tube steady while you loosen the jam nut with the 3 quarter inch wrench and do the same thing with the stub shaft on the other end.
Once both roller assemblies are removed from the roller carriers, we need to take the old end caps off of the old roller covers in order to reuse them on the new roller covers. To do that, use a rod that's uh, preferably 3 8 inch diameter and make sure the length of it is uh, quite a bit longer than the roller cover that your length that you're trying to change. Insert the rod through the bearing hole on one end of the roller and make sure you keep this thing angled to the sides and you can tap the end cap off from the other side but make sure that you're not hitting the bearing on the other end of the roller. Once the roller end cap is off of one side of the roller, flip it around and tap the other end cap off. Once the old end caps are out of the old roller covers, they need to be installed in the new roller covers. You see on the end caps there's a flange here and it's important that when we install these that we make sure that the perforated tube inside the roller cover is flat up against the flange all the way around the circumference of the end cap. So to install them you insert one side of the end cap into the perforated tube and then use the hard plastic tipped hammer to tap it down the end cap all the way around the circumference of the roller. It helps to alternate sides as you're tapping it down in order to make sure that everything sits flush. After one end cap is installed, flip the roller over and repeat that for the other side. Once the end caps are installed on both of the new roller covers, you can start to reassemble the rollers into the roller carriers. To start, grab the dispenser tube from the lower roller and insert that through the threaded hole in the lower roller carrier and into the bearing hole on the roller and line that the two up and then start threading that into the lower roller carrier again. Use the stub shaft on the other end to support the other end of the roller. When reinstalling the new roller covers it's important to position the dispenser tube so that the holes in the dispenser tube are facing up. You see on the hex there is a stamp with a number inside of a circle. That indicates the number of holes in your dispenser tube. It is also in line with all the holes in the dispenser tube. So when you install your dispenser tube assembly, make sure that you rotate your number so it's facing up. That way you know the holes in the dispenser tube will also be facing up. Once your dispenser tube is orientated in the right position, use your finger to tighten down the jam nut, then use the 5 eighths and 3 quarter inch wrench to tighten the jam nut against the lower roller carrier. Again, hold the 5 eighths inch hex steady and tighten with the 3 quarter inch wrench. Once the lower roller cover is in place, you can reinstall the upper roller. This time you got to remember that the upper roller carrier assembly is upside down now so when you position your mark on your dispenser tube assembly you need to make sure that it's pointed down as it's sitting on the bench like this. That way when it's installed into the roller system again 
it will be in the upright position. Again, once your dispenser tube assembly is in the right orientation, tighten the jam nuts against the upper roller carrier assembly. After both roller assemblies are installed in the upper roller carriers, we can put the upper roller carrier back in. To do that, use the pins that you took out earlier, insert a pin on one side, and then to help hold the upper roller carrier, insert the pin on the other side. Install one of the washers between the pivot bracket and upper roller assembly. And then move over and put a washer on the other side between the upper roller carrier assembly and the pivot bracket. Add the other washer and then the retaining clip and do the same thing on the other side. After you've got the pins positioned in the back, you can reinstall the pin on the air cylinder assembly. Insert the pin with the E-clip through one side. Sometimes you have to shake it to kind of get it through. And then install the pin in the groove on the other side of the As a final check, just push the top roller down and make sure that it springs back freely. After the air cylinder is reconnected, last thing to do is connect your tubes, insert them into the fitting and make sure you push them all the way past the O-ring seal and make sure you do that for the, both the top roller and the bottom roller. If you have a type C uniroller, your unit will have a pump mounted on the end of each roller. The roller cover change process is the same for type C and type S unirollers. The only difference is you have to remove the two socket head cap screws that hold the pump in place. And also, after reinstalling the new rollers, you need to be certain that the roller is positioned so that when the roller rotates, the piston of the pump will extend fully without binding.